Let's get started. So we'll start off with Cytus Lambda. Turn my mic up a little bit here. Uh, it's one of the games that came out, I guess it came out sort of in Europe a couple weeks ago in like a banner and then uh, they took it down. That sort of stuff. Hey, uh, question for the chat. Would you rather me play full screen like, oh, that looks really bad in transition. Would you rather me do it like that, or would you, do you like it when it's cut off a little bit? Because it keeps the resolution better. It's up to you guys, really. I think games kind of look like crap if they're full screen like this, but I'll let you guys decide. Well, like here, you can see the difference here. Like... I guess it isn't, it's not fully, it's cropping a little bit of it too at the bottom there, but I don't know, I'll work with it, maybe get it better next week. I kind of just threw that together really quickly in the last minute. Alright, so this is a rhythm game, uh, it costs eleven ninety nine to unlock all of it, as you can see right here, it should prompt me to pay. Uh, the load times are a little bit worse on Vita than they are on, I, are on Android devices to do how PlayStation Mobile works. Yeah, there you go. So if you want to pay for the full game, um, it's 12 bucks. It's like a bunch of songs though, so. I guess we'll show off the demo stuff though. Because I don't have $12 to pay for this right now. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of music in the game though, so that's why it's twelve bucks. Cause license of music ain't cheap. I I don't know who the the music like um, artists are that they have in here. So what do we got here? I guess these Cytus games are pretty big on. Uh, Android. Let's try seven hard. So let's try seven. See how hard I, how hard it is. That's up, Rock Gamer. Say so we have four vouchers for Mononoke slash down to give out later. But you can see this is much like uh, DJ Max, where you're just tapping in rhythm. It seems to be pretty forgiving with the taps. It's pretty hard to play while talking. So there's different types of notes. There's a uh, ones where you have to drag, ones where you have to hold. That sort of stuff. It doesn't use back touch at all, but if you play DJ Max on Vita, it's a little bit different from that. Set up. Uh -oh. Whoa, I guess I'm supposed to be playing with two hands, not one. That might help. They keep they seem to keep everything in range for your thumbs, so you can play with just your two thumbs. But that kinda blocks the play field if you're doing that. There are some different options, it looks like, for uh, different bubble types or something. I know if you play like DDR or anything like that, you know there's different like types of arrows and stuff like that. That eh, wasn't too bad. 
New best. How do I get off this screen? Oh, next. But yeah, the load times on Vita are pretty long as compared to other Android devices that run PlayStation Mobile. So let's see some other stuff here. This one sounds hard. Let's do this one though. So there's different uh, arrows. There's grouped, none, default. Let's try grouped. What's click effects? Oh, I think that means it makes the noise whenever you tap. Let's try the grouped bubble. I don't know what it means though. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. Flash memory versus uh, using a memory card. Those are the, the swipe notes. Lost my combo. You can turn that clicking noise off if you want. Uh, I'm holding the hand, holding the Vita in my hands because of how the capture like wires work. I could be laying it down, but then you'll hear me tapping like with my mic, so I didn't want to do that. Yeah, this is Sight Lambda. It's out now. It is free to download, and those ten songs you get unlimited access to. And then if you want to pay for the full game, it is uh, twelve dollars. Uh. I saw Thomas was in chat, so we'll do one of his games next. Sea Run. This is an infinite runner with like a Game Boy visual style. Yeah, I was playing with my thumbs. This is Sea Run. It's forty nine cents on the U.S. store. How many mod do you? I wonder if I give you voice. Does that change anything? I wonder if you get an icon or something. So yeah, this is C-Run, uh, you use the D-pad to avoid obstacles, and you have an umbrella, which you can let out. Like that, to get a little bit more lift. So you don't uh, fall as fast when you're using the umbrella. There's some high scores right now, but since PSM doesn't have our PSM doesn't have uh, online leaderboards yet, it's still local only. It does speed up eventually.
There's, and they add coins here. Yeah, here we go. Here's the coins. I knew I was forgetting something. There was coins. And I'll speed up after these coins, I think. Yep, there we go. Alright, now it's getting serious. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. Press R to run? Alright, I'm gonna try that. I guess I should probably read the how to play screen, but I never do. Oh yeah, there you are, you're moving a little bit faster. Okay. Alright. You hope you're a moderator now. Alright, here we go. Hold so okay, so hold square run. Press hold to glide, slow down. Points. Alright, cool, let's go. Yeah, okay, you can see the difference there. Here's normal speed, and then here's while holding in the run. You can move a little bit faster. Jump, jump. Was this just a test for like your Game Boy filter? Oh man, I ran into this. Let's do one more run. But yeah, this is 49 cents on... Oh no, we lost sound. Okay, there we go. <laughs> This is 49 cents on the store. C run. I want to at least get to the coins again. Seagulls are like making fun of me. Did you write the music for this one? That's cool. If you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, we had the creator of the game in the chat and I was asking him some questions. So he did write the music for the game. Here we go, coin time. Ah, it's so much easier to get the coins when you're running. Alright, yes, this is a C run. It's 50 cents on the store right now. Uh, let's give out a code for Mononoke slash down while Feed Me Oil loads up. So if you're in chat and you want to win, I want you to type the word. Type the word Mononoke in chat, Mononoke, and you'll be entered to win a copy of Mononoke Slash Down for PlayStation Mobile if you have a US account. And while you guys are typing away there, we will start playing some Feed Me Oil. So this is from Chilingo. Uh, they release a bunch of games on iOS and stuff like that. So this is their first game releasing on the mobile platform, which I guess is good for it, as it will give more visibility as Chilingo is a pretty big company. Uh, so the goal, if you haven't played this game before, um, basically you're just trying to take oil that's coming out of these pipes and put it into the mouths of these little guys here. So if you hit the button here, it'll show the oil going down. And I'm missing right now, so I need to put some more pipes. So if I put one there, what does that do? So that gets in that one. I wonder if 
if I tilt this one sideways at all. Hmm. Let's move this one down here. That's too much in that one. Look at that. Yeah, they, they originally did Angry Birds on minis, but then Rovio took it back and did it themselves. They also released a couple other games on minis too. Uh, that one like vampire game, like something undead, I believe that is a Chilingo joint. They might have done some other stuff on minis too. You can see this has like the Angry Birds style scoring, that sort of stuff. Remember, you can still try to win a copy of Mononoke Slashdown by typing Mononoke in chat. Alright, GX Gear, you won the first copy of the game. Uh, let's see. It's the wrong way. The game seems to run pretty well, though, if you're wondering that. Oh, I got a little bit in. Let's do a hint. What does that do? So I keep it trapped there? Aha, it does. So then let's put another one there. Let's get rid of that one. I think we got it. It's gonna be close. Hey GX Gear, I don't know if the game's gonna work with Canadian, so uh, you can try it. And let me know if it works or not. Wait, did Mononoke Slash don't even come out in Canada? Let me know, because if it's not on the store, I can't even give you the voucher. Oil button to turn on. Should it have like a... Oh, I need to turn that on to... Okay, I got it. Got it. So this is a dollar fifty. You won. Let me know if the game is on the Canadian PlayStation Mobile Store. Otherwise, you can't even uh, redeem it. Rocking these initial levels here and feed me oil though. I like the visual style in this game, it's kind of cool. So let's put that there and have it go that way. Yeah, because if not, I'll have to give it to somebody else.
Although I'm not sure about this lullaby music that's playing in the background here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me turn it up a little bit. So we'll do a couple more levels, then we will head out to the next game. So you see they have all sorts of items here, they got fans, that sort of stuff, to blow the oil up. There's a whole bunch of levels. Uh, let me go back to the main menu here. This is $1.50. Let's go back to the menu. Alright, here, uh, let me know if it works, because if it doesn't work, I will give it to somebody else. Alright, I sent you a message on Twitch that has the code in it. So yeah, this is Feed Me Oil. It's $1.50 on the store right now. There's a bunch of levels here, like lots of levels. Uh, let's do Floribund. Floribund. It's a match three puzzle game. And I'll give out another voucher. Power level 9, you won as well. You have a US Vita account, right? Yeah, I noticed that all the like the loading orbs like take over the screen whenever you're playing. Go, move over. So this is infinity mode. You can, I guess you use your points to get away, get rid of skulls. That's what I've, I guess I've noticed. Look at that combo I had there. Uh, where do I have one? Oh man, match their puzzle one. Let's do that. There we go. Boom. I like the little noise it makes when you get a match. This is also 50 cents, 49 cents, however, I don't think there's tax, so. Hmm. There we go. You can also use the camera in this game to take a picture. And have that be the skulls or something, I think I saw. We'll do that in a second. Need more points. Got a pretty good record going on right here. We have Mastery Puzzle and your thing. This one seems like it's alright. It's 50 cents. Didn't mean to do that. Uh... So let's see the other modes I got. There's also a time trial mode. I guess that's a certain number of time before we can start. I mean, it's, uh, so it looks like we got 90 seconds to play as much, get as many points as possible. It's just raining combos on me right now. Uh, okay, down. Uh, so many combos. So it looks like the, the yellow skulls do like a pattern of removal. Looks like a T-shape, or it's probably like a, a cross. Okay, and the skulls that have the, the different flowers in their eyes eliminate those flowers if you match them. So I can do that. 
Shuffle. Maximum points. Uh, da, 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 da. That. That. Look at this. Combo master right now. Go, go over. There we go. New high score. Alright. Uh, I can turn the music on or off. So let's see this photo mode. If you want to mix things up, you should take a photo. Alright, let's take a photo of the chat. Sure, we'll use that image. Try it again. So yeah, there you go. I got a little photo now instead of a skull. Oh, those are the, the power-up ones. Okay, I got it. Makes sense. Rocking out to the music right now. Shuffle. So this is 50 cents on the store if you want to check it out. What else do we have left? We have Bike Rider and Mononoke Slashdown. So we'll do Mononoke Slashdown now. Uh, power level you won, I'll send you, you have a, I'll send you a voucher right now. I right, check your Twitch inbox. Guess I'll let you guys see the story of this. Dun 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 dun. Let's do a new code. I mean, a new keyword. Uh, the new word to win is Oni. So this game is by the people that made that Chaos Code fighting game that came out in Japan and Hong Kong a little while back. I think over like Christmas break or something like that. FK Studio or something like that. So let's see the volume. Can't turn the sound effects up? Oh, there we go. How to play. Wow, that's a lot of chapter options. Touch the screen, go to shop, back to title. Ninjutsu. Kunai. Jump, attack. Alright. Let's start this game up. So I can't pick anything else yet. The abandoned village it is. Defeat all enemy. Alright. So we got slash and a jump. And we can shoot kunais, but they use the little meter we have. So the game's animation seems to be pretty good. Um, it's pretty fluid. 
I wouldn't say it looks like uh, Muramasa because that has, a, I think, a little bit more of a wood block like filter on the graphics. This game is still pretty cartoony. Get that kunai. So you can see using that uh, takes away from your gauge. More ninjas. So you just seem to it seems to be just doing a bunch of slashing. I haven't really played too much of the game yet, so this is my first time actually playing it. It does look pretty good, and apparently there's boss fights and stuff like that too. Which I guess we'll see, hopefully, maybe if we play enough. Oh, taking damage. Do I have ninjutsu? No, I don't. Yeah, my face. Oh. Get them all. Oh. Man. Alright, back up. No way. Get out of here. So you can sort of stun them with the kunai, and then... Oh. I ran straight into that. I can't, I can't use ninjutsu yet. I don't have any. Back up. Man, there are a lot of enemies in this stage. Oh. Some Japanese I can't read. Maybe I should go buy some ninjutsu. Hopefully that was a store. If not, we're doing this mission again. All right, let's try this one more time. Man, need that ninjutsu. I'm juggling. This is like Tekken. Back up. But yeah, this game does look really good, like visually. It's one of the better looking PS Mobile games. I fell for that again, shame on me. Get that kunai action, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Boom. Give me all the blue orbs, give me the Dragon Balls. Nope, 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 nope. Back up. Yes. Aha! I've learned their strategies. Can't take me down anymore. Oh, you can double jump. That might have helped earlier. Stupid. Oh my god. Getting rocked. Alright, here we go. Haha. -ha. Oh, I beat it. Success. <laughs> e rank. Apparently, I'm not that good. Okay, so I have a little aura. I have a little lantern by my name now. How do I go to the shop? Okay, here's a shop. Let's see what we can buy. So let's see if we can buy a different sword, different suit, some better kunai. How do I get ninjutsu? I don't think I have any money for any of this stuff yet. Oh, there's the ninjutsu. That's expensive. Scroll of Hike. 
Yeah, so it looks like we can't buy anything yet. Triangle doesn't do anything yet because I don't have ninjutsu. And it looks like it's too expensive to buy. Defeat all enemy again. I think the boss is all the way at the end here. I don't know if we're going to get that far, guys. Because I'm getting kind of hungry. And we still have one more game left to play. Oh yeah, Rock Gamer, you won by the way. I'll give you a code in a second. Oh, we got new enemy types here. Yeah, yeah, alright, back up. Get them all. Give me all that money. Oh no, getting stabbed. Yeah, I don't have anything on my triangle button yet. And the top buttons don't seem to do anything either. Oh wow, I got just dropped right in front of me. This game is, I think it's 450. So it's kind of on the expensive side. Died again. Jump and throw kunai, but will that? I don't know if that'll work. Uh, can I pick any of these levels? Oh, looks like I can. Cool. Let's try that out. Try one of these later levels, and then we'll head out into the next game. Oh wow, now they're now they're getting sued. Whoa! Now they have like dinosaurs. I don't think I'm ready for this. I need a block or something. To block that magic attack. Oh wow. Totally not ready for this yet. Who is spamming that magic attack? Oh, these guys are back here with their little guns. Get out of my face. There we go. Now I'm starting to get it. Or not. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be tons of grinding, it seems, to get money to buy all that stuff. And some of it's locked still, so... And there, I don't think there's any in-app purchase stuff to be able to buy, uh... At least I didn't see any in-app purchase stuff. Let me go back to the main menu. Maybe there was something to buy more money. Doesn't look like it, though. So, yeah. This is Mononoke Slashdown. It is $4.50, I believe, on the PlayStation Store. 454, 20, 29, something like that. Um, we have one game left, guys. And then this week's stream for PlayStation Mobile is over. So... Let us play some Bike Rider. Director's Cut. Or Director's Edition, whatever DX means. So this game came out in Japan last week, and there is some differences between the two modes, or two games. The one in Japan has a uh, gameplay mode called Classic Mode, which is not included in this version. But this version has some extra levels in the World Tour that are set in like the Classic Mode stylings, if I believe. And this game is $4.99 on the store. $4.99 or $5.99? $5.99, I think. 
So it's one of the more expensive games. Uh, basically, it is like an infinite runner, but I guess it's not infinite. It's a runner on a bike. Um, as you can see, I've played it a little bit. So basically, you're just taking this little bike guy through these different levels and trying to collect coins. And if you get three coins on each stage, you get like a medal. Uh, there's like trophy. There's not trophies, you know what I mean? There's like in-game trophies. You can double jump. And you get this cool little rainbow behind you if you do more than one double jump. I guess you can do like up to six, I think, if you time it correctly. Yeah, like there, a little bit better. There you go, mad height. There's no, there's some like uh, gems you can pick up as well that will give you power ups, but I don't think there are any in this level yet. And then there is like an endless running mode where you try to go as far as possible. I guess this game came out on a bunch of different platforms before PlayStation Mobile. I think it's like an eShop game for 3DS. It's an Android version, probably an iOS version too. That's a big elephant. Let's try the next stage. Uh, also this week on PlayStation Mobile, Nunageddon came out in Spain and Japan, and it also got a patch, so if you have that game, be sure to start it up again and get the patch. I guess it adds a few different... I guess it fixes a couple bugs he was having with it, and it makes it a little bit easier, I think you said, too. Because some, at some points it became impossible to even continue playing or something. It's kind of hard to get the timing down on that double jump. Ooh, almost died. I think these fall best of all, or not. There's a monk on top of an elephant. Oh, here we go. Power up time. Speed up. Oh, that's BS. I will right, we'll try one more game, and then we'll do the endless running mode, and then I'm gonna head out. Uh, don't have any clue what's coming out next week yet. But I guess Chilingo did announce their, their game. They have like three or other games that are coming and they have dates for those already. So I think one of them is in July. I'm not sure which day though. Yeah, that power up ending early was kind of BS. Was not a fan of that. It seemed like it just ended dead in its tracks. Didn't give me any forward momentum at all. Haha! -ha. Try to trick me again. Did I get all three? Okay, I did. Good. Let's check out the endless running mode. Uh, this game uses buttons. I'm using the X button to jump. But I think you can use the touchscreen. Or not. Doesn't look like no touchscreen at all. So Grand Prix is the the endless running mode, it randomly generates uh, the levels and stuff. But yeah, this game is all buttons, no touchscreen at all. Oh, what is this? Yeah, they add all sorts of crazy stuff into these modes that I haven't seen like in the levels yet, so... And there's no uh, coins to pick up in the Grand Prix mode. You're just trying to go as far as possible. Oh, that was close. Crap. There are leaderboards for this as well, but uh, no online support yet. Which should be a given.
All right, let's try to get 2,000 or 3,000 and then I'm gonna head out. So this will be the last run. And then I will see you guys next week with more PlayStation Mobile goodness. Also Friday, I'm streaming this week's PlayStation Network releases, if you want to see that. Uh, motorbike, Magic the Gathering, hopefully Hotline Miami. We have we have a voucher for review, but I gave it to someone else, so try to get another one so I can stream it. But it'll be a bunch of Magic the Gathering, Hotline Miami, and, and probably some Pool Nation. Close. Alright, we're at 2,000. Let's try to break my record. Oh, what the heck? I thought I had to jump on top of this for a second. Oh no! Ooh. We did it! I broke my record, guys. Way to go, dudes! Uh, yeah, I, I, all these things are put on YouTube, so if you miss a live stream, you can just watch it there. Or it's on the website usually, too. So this is Bike Race, and Bike Rider DX. Here's my rankings. It gives you a date and a time you did it. Don't have hard mode unlocked yet. So yeah, there are a bunch of in-game achievements to unlock, if that's your sort of thing. So yeah, it's been fun, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. We will have more PlayStation Mobile stuff to stream next week. I will catch you guys later though.